are you? One virus, two virus, red virus, blue virus. <clears throat> cycle begins with some fun, so pay good attention to my long dry run. First off, a phage appears near a cell. A sight so fascinating, the phage is tempted to yell, but instead he drifts closer, slowly at first until he lands on the receptors, always feet first. With a slight downwards jab and a mighty big push, the phage deposits his DNA in a big blobby mesh. While the protein phage says bye to his genes, his DNA is already more dangerous than a group of angry teens. <laughs> it wriggles its way through the cell's main compartments until it circulates and rests in a nearby apartment. The cell's DNA is quickly hydrolyzed and trashed, and the viral DNA takes over its stash. Soon, the new virus has taken control and is making new genomes and proteins, but at such a toll. The new phages are assembled and stored until the day when there is no more space for the cell to hoard. The phages build up until there is no more room, and the whole cell pops like one giant balloon. <sighs> now thousands of new phages are released on the spot, and go on to infect more cells. Oh, there's something I forgot. Hold up, wait a minute. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm going to let you finish. But we got rap that can top that. Yeah, dope boy. Represent ZG. Tell him the phage DNA is just floating around inside a protein shell through which it is bound. It's a dull, boring life being a lonely virus. Almost bad as listening to my desires. No kids of its own or a place to call home. The virus is forever alone. But wait, what is this? There's a nice looking cell An escape from this tolerable solitary hell The virus jumps on this quiet literally too And he inserts his thing to deposit his goo The cell doesn't reject and the lash is done The special receptors, but soon it's all gone The now empty cell of protein phages disappears quickly Like teacher's wages But the cell doesn't go, it's the victim of this break And the DNA inside is no escape The new DNA, the Phage's last gift slowly creeps the cell until we see a shift. The first thing I've noticed is a circular ring. A prophase DNA shows who's the king. With this ring of power, DNA can do two things. Destroy the host cell or engage in a few things. If it chooses option A, the cell becomes its prey. And the lytic cycle initiates destructions on the way. The viral DNA springs like a beast. It causes more violence than the Middle East. It rises and slices through the host DNA and gets rid of the native stuff like the KKK. The first thing it does is direct the cell like, like a boss. Copy the genome like a boss. Manage the cell like a boss. Assemble the phages like a boss. Direct workflow like a boss. Micromanage like a boss. And explode like a boss. The phages are formed and it comes to the worst. The ripped up cell wall it finally bursts. When the phages are deployed, everything's destroyed. And all that's left are a hundred killing droids. Rewind. Option B. Option B. Option B. Option B. Tom G. Going back to the circularized DNA, it's time to further explore the other way. Through the lysogenic cycle we'll now explore, so you won't be left in the dark, not anymore. So listen up, Hamda, cause we're talking about Lambda and the temperate phages that perform the shenaniganda. First off, the two DNA integrate on stage, which soon move together to form one prophage. Next, the bacterium quickly reproduces itself, creating many new cells that contains a prophage lump cell. A generation's worth of these begins to exist, and many infected cells just waiting in the midst, until eventually a daughter cell has a prophage that will lead the cycle to go on its very own rampage. The lytic cycle initializes and it's back to the start, and soon a hundred new phages will now depart. This has been eye-opening for me. I'm the boss. Yeah, I know. I got that.